So what is the minimum sample size? Let's take a look at this example here. Suppose we have a researcher, an econ researcher. What's the estimate? The mean number of hours worked by all grocery store employees in a county. Very good. How many? So this is the question that you're going to answer. How many employees must be included or selected in a sample to be 95% confident that the sample mean is within 1.5 hours of the population mean. Very good. Suppose we also know that sigma or population standard deviation is 7.9 hours. So let us answer this question. What are we going to do? We are going to use the margin of error formula. Okay, remember the margin of error formula to find and construct the confidence interval for population mean was ZC sigma divided by square root of n, but this n is missing. So let's take a look at this. I can rewrite this formula. This formula can be written as square root of n equals to zc sigma over e, or n can be written as zc times sigma divided by margin of error to the second power. N is going to be the sample size. Very well. So since N is equal to ZC sigma divided by E to the second power, we have all of these pieces of information. ZC is critical value for 95% confidence level. So if C is 0.95, turn on your calculator, second bars, find inverse norm, the area to the left, take a look at this, here you have 95%, This little area is 5% divided by 2. 0 0.05 divided by 2 or 0 
point zero twenty five. Mean is zero. Standard deviation is one, and then your ZC is going to be positive one point ninety six. That's how we get our critical value for the confidence level of 95% or 0.95. So ZC is 1.96, 1.96 times sigma. Do I have information about sigma in this example? Yes, it is given to me as 7.9. So multiply by 7.9 divided by E. E is the margin of error. But where is my margin of error? I don't see any margin of error here in this question. Well, you have 1.5 hours confidence interval that the sample mean is within 1.5 hours. Within 1.5 hours refers to your margin of error. So margin of error is 1.5. Compute this quantity and raise it to the second power. It gives us about 106.56, which means if we round this up, we get 107 grocery store employees. So the sample size, the number of people that you need to ask is 107 employees. That's how we find the sample size. This is the sample size. 